Hello learners, welcome back to your education channel Learn and Educate where we were studying a few definitions under the Companies Act 2013 thus under which Section 2 Clause 7 Auditing Standards Auditing Standards means the standards on auditing or any addendum thereto for companies or a class of companies referred to in sub Section 10 of Section 143 it means the auditing standards which are referred to in the Companies Act for a class or class of the companies under section 143 thus section 143 states about powers and duties of auditors and auditing standards the power and duties of the auditors and the auditing standards under which every auditor of a company shall have to keep a right of access at all the times of the books of accounts vouchers of the company whether kept at the registered office of the company or any other place which is entitled required by the officers of the company and such information or explanations uh, which are considered necessary for the purpose of performance of his duties as an auditor and other things uh, which is inquired into the matter such as uh, loans and advances made by the company transaction of company which are re represented merely by the book entries and are prejudicial to the interest of the company whether the company which is not being an investment company or banking company uh, and whether such makes uh, most of the assets consist of the shares and debentures and securities which have been sold at a price uh, than at which uh, they are purchased by the company they are sold at a price which are less than the price purchased by the company uh, duties of the auditor shall report on all the information and explanations and thus under section 143 the central government prescribes that every, every auditor shall comply with the auditing standards under subsection 9 of section 143 every auditor shall comply with the auditing standards the central government may prescribe the standards on auditing or any addendum thereto as are recommended by the institute of chartered accountants of india which is formed under section 3 of the chartered accountants act 1949 which is in consultation with with the National Financial Reporting Authority and after examination of the recommendations by the National Financial Reporting Authority provided that until any auditing standards are notified any standards or accounting any standards on the auditing which is specified by the ICI shall be deemed to be the auditing standards the central government may in consultation with the National Financial Reporting Authority by general or special order direct in respect of such class or description of the companies uh, as may be specified in the order that the auditor shall have also include that the auditor's report shall also include a statement on the matters which are specified therein thank you for watching